Oh, welcome back my gardening friends to uh, the jobs for December and a uh, winter vegetable harvest. This is my second place um, giant carrot and as you can see my little four-legged friends have found it so I've had to uh, pop them onto this and uh, I've had no uh, further damage to any uh, of the others got to keep an eye on those keep looking after them just make sure there's a, a little bit of dampness there but not too wet so they uh, don't go rotten I want those to go to seed so that I can have my own stock to uh, grow on uh, in the future so these are all my potatoes uh, all different sorts different composts uh, etc and because the uh, kestrels uh, are uh, wanting to uh, grow that we planted on the 2nd of April, uh, I'm going to uh, take those out now. Uh, there's lots of others, but uh, they're not growing yet. And I might be able to find one in there that I can pot on again and maybe have a, a nice crop of potatoes for January and February. So let's do a potato reveal on the kestrel. So I had these potatoes give to me uh, by Gary, a former plot holder here, and uh, I continue uh, uh, to grow them, even if it's only uh, in a, a container. As you can see, there's a few here that uh, they're already tr trying to sprout, so we'll uh, quantity just quality <clears throat> all grown in my homemade uh, compost but, uh, sprut on that one's a little bit too long if I can't find a suitable one then uh, we can uh, just save Yeah. So basically, that's where the chit, uh, the eye is, and then the roots come out there, and then they uh, hang down uh, into the bottom. So we always put uh, like a manure at the bottom, or your feeds, uh, and then the potatoes normally grow uh, at this level. So I think that one will be a good one to uh, repot back up, and uh, we'll eat that one. And of course. I think I've got some more kestrels anyway, so and again then this soil will go into the uh, bin. It's going to be reused elsewhere. I haven't got no manure at the moment, so I'll probably just ask, uh, add a few bit of blood fish and bone and uh, chicken pellets. So, happy with that, it'll keep Mrs. K happy. Uh, we'll go and uh, grab some uh, carrots now. And uh, I'll, while you do, whilst you're just waiting, I will uh, pop that potato up before I forget. So another job that I'd like to do in December is to utilise these um, roof laths that uh, I've purchased 
uh, to stabilize this instead of having bean canes uh, uh, over the top I want to try and create some uh, doors that we can open up on one side so that I don't have to keep taking the uh, laths on and off uh, creating more and more holes in the uh, environment mesh environment mesh netting uh, oh, let's just turn that over so we started labeling up when we uh, so these, so that is the 8th of May. Again, the, oh no, that's the 8th of May. That covers uh, that there. So the next lot were the uh, 2nd of June. And then we just successionally sowed them uh, throughout. Now this rain, we're not going to find out how bad they are uh, until we uh, do a reveal. So I'll probably take a, a couple of rows up today. And it's getting a bit drier, but it's still getting uh, cooler. And I'm uh, continuing to use these Think Green uh, winter gloves. So if we uh, start from there, oh, that's grew well. It's a nice specimen. No splits in them. Um, have to be very careful when you wash these now because they will suddenly take on a lot of water they shouldn't do because <laughs> they've had plenty so we'll see when I uh, give them a, a, a wash I'm surprised that's really surprised me that we have got no That's the one that I re sowed when it didn't take, but uh, even I can grow carrots like that. And carrots like this. Uh, I think I did dip the holes with these, but as you can see, it's hit a bit of manure or something, or a bit of goodness, and it's throughout the extra legs. Plenty of carrot there. And again, another one. So maybe that area there. Uh, was uh, in a little bit of bit of manure. That one, or that one? Which do you think? Again, there's another one here that uh, we sowed uh, afterwards, but it won't go to waste. Uh, so that's another two rows. Uh, I'm going to have a quick look down the other end now to see how the other carrots are looking. If they are all that sort of shape size then i should be cutting all these tops off and covering them with cardboard to protect them from the uh, the winter wet weather and frost so i've just taken this one from down the other end right at the other end it did got uh, some grass growing in it so i thought oh i'll pull that out gently and look at this what, what that's like so that's the uh, the grass that will go in the uh, compost bin but i'll go and look at that carrot so these are now ready to have all the tops cut off and covered over with cardboard uh, to protect them throughout the, uh, the winter. That'll do for these. I'll get this tidied up and uh, we'll get those washed and we'll see if there's anything else we can harvest um, this December. The job for December is to uh, weed through this. Onions don't like uh, to be competing, but uh, it's just as simple as that and uh, it'll take me just a few minutes to clear that at some stage uh, we'll take some of the uh, the chard swiss chard we'll take a few uh, brussels sprouts I'm not going to take that yet just in case they do get bigger but uh, those uh, turnips look nice are you still there, you little rogue? Well, you can go and fly somewhere else and uh, we'll take a little bit of the kale and uh, we'll have a little look at uh, what that looks like uh, trimmed up. And I might as well take the peas that are ready and use them as uh, sugar snap. I must say, some of these carrots look better than the ones we pulled out uh, Malvern so realistically I haven't pulled any more carrots out there since uh, Malvern 
uh, end of September and uh, they look quite uh, good and uh, some of those there would have gone there for the heaviest if they'd uh, had a little bit more uh, manure and that uh, red cabbage uh, yeah took quite a bit off it but still plenty there to have waste not want not and uh, we've got a few sprouts and I'll just check because you can eat this as a extra large sprout as long as uh, there's not too much uh, white fly uh, green fly damage some kale there minus the caterpillars and there's the opria the living leek uh, that's uh, that's done uh, really well I'll just show you that so you know where it's come from uh, so that's uh, that we keep it in the same bed so all the little babies uh, grow like that so basically it's the uh, opria brood balls pearl leak living leak whatever you want to call it uh, it is very very strong though uh, another job uh, for this month is to get these now supported i may even pick the best and keep it to one to, uh, station there's three at the moment i'll probably end up getting a better crop we will sure see but i need to get that job done i need to give the uh, underground worm farms uh, a nice feed and more cardboard etc on that hook and uh, i've got to change these lids the uh, raspberry cranes and the um, blackberries they'll be cut down uh, right at the end of uh, december uh, these can be cut right down to the uh, bottom like that and then uh, you get fruit on the, that year's growth not like the summer fruit in where you have to keep the wood that grew this year so that wood grew this year and that was the old wood from the year before uh, you just have to keep on keep track of which you've got else you won't get no fruit the following year I've got uh, 10 bags of leaves now uh, I need to get about another 10 and we'll hopefully get that done by the uh, third week in December and I need to get this uh, all rebuilt this is where uh, the leaf mold that's the leaf mold we collected in 2021 autumn of and it got so wet that we're going to put a roof on collect the water and the water then can go onto the leaf mold as and when I want it nearly four or five years ago I laid those bricks when we first built it Hashtag starting the new allotment. And hopefully by then uh, we'll have all the old wood that we know that uh, we don't want and uh, we can get it burnt, this cleared, and then we can start planning for all the uh, new pallet collar beds uh, here. I'll come all the way across uh, in line uh, with the uh, manure runoff bin. And as soon as I get some more manure, I need to get uh, the rhubarb patch along here done I'll give them a bit of i've given wood chips last year so i'm going to give them manure this hopefully the rhubarb will pay me back and if it dries out enough i'll get into this cage and take out the rest of the strawberries get them potted up ready for my father and uh, somebody else that wanted some I don't think this cabbage is going to go to seed it's one of the giants and I don't think the uh, red cabbage is going to go to seed either both of those now two years old but no doubt they'll make a good meal so lots to do uh, please consider subscribing so you can follow my uh, allotment journey over the winter months just the things that I get up to and need to do set myself targets time management little and often and uh, it won't be long before it's spring but hopefully everything will be ready happy gardening to you all till next time my friends to half an hour excuse me peas in december
Sorry, Mrs. K, they're not ready yet. Excuse me.